I think every skater has the dream of having their own private skate park and I'm no different that's actually my long-term goal for this channel is to be able to have a private training facility where I can film these videos and hopefully that can happen someday soon but if you're broke like me the next best thing is to build a portable skate park that can fit in your car so you can take it to a parking lot and skate whenever you want. Having access to good skate obstacles that can help you learn is a total game changer. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I built this ledge. Before we do that, if you like my content and you wanna see more, follow me on Instagram, at the local Joe. And if you like these videos and you wanna see more of them in your feed, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe so that they show up on your YouTube homepage. If you do wanna support my channel, you can buy a Friday hoodie to remind yourself to make every single day a Friday. So the first thing that you should know about this ledge is that it was actually made from just scrap wood that you can find in dumpsters at construction sites. So in total, I think I spent maybe like 30 bucks on the ledge and most of that went towards paying for this surface layer, which is like this plastic butter bench material, which is perfect for ledges for sliding and for grinding. Other than that, the rest of the ledge was totally free. As far as how this ledge is actually made, I made a whole video on the process that I went through and the design and everything. It's not really anything special. Really, I just built a box and then put this material on top of it. Instead of doing coping, I just wanted it to have that slippery plastic material. But that's really all there was to it. I just built a box and threw that on top. Again, you can see the full video, but it's pretty straightforward. There's lots of DIY ledge plans online. You can see what I did and look and see what other people have done. But really at the end of the day, it's all about skating. And as long as you build an obstacle that is skatable and can help you learn tricks and have fun, nothing else really matters. When we first built the ledge, it stayed in one place pretty good, but then over time, it started to like shift and move as we get on it. And eventually the ledge just started to deteriorate the more that it slid around, it started to fall apart. So today I actually put some reinforcements in the ledge and I got these sticky mats that you can buy at Lowe's. They're like five bucks, but basically you just peel them and stick them. And that's actually what I use for my flat bar and it works really good. So since revamping this ledge, I actually haven't skated it. So it's been out of commission for probably like the last two months. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a quick warm up session on this ledge and then we're going to talk more about what it would take for you to make one of these. took forever. I just want to get one more trick and that's going to be a front 5-0. I had this trick before the ledge went out of commission. I want to get at least one good one right now. should know about building a ledge like this before you start is unless you're like a builder or somebody that's you know good with power tools and this kind of stuff you're probably just gonna have to learn to roll with the punches if you don't really know what you're doing things are gonna go wrong and you're just gonna have to improvise and figure it out at the end of the day it's just about skating and having fun so if you can build something that's solid enough for you to skate it doesn't really matter if you need to build a second one that's fine but just don't expect it to be perfect going in and just be ready for obstacles and challenges to come your way Way because if this isn't something that really is in your wheelhouse, you're just gonna have to adapt and overcome to end up with the finished product. If you look closely at this ledge, I mean, there's so many things that are wrong with it. For example, we didn't have enough wood 
So we had to put a little patch right here. There's just so many things that could have been done better. And this ledge was actually falling apart. So for the last two months, it was out of commission. So today I actually had to take some pieces out and put new pieces in to make it stronger so it doesn't keep having the same problems again. But this is what I mean. If you're getting into this, just don't expect it to be perfect. Just start doing it. And as the problems arise, you'll just have to figure out a way. But really it's just like skating. As long as you're just putting the effort forward, eventually you're gonna get an end product. And when it's done, no matter how many problems you had, you're gonna be stoked that you have something new to skate. This ledge probably took about six hours total to build. A big reason for that is because we were taking apart an old ramp and repurposing parts for this and it just got really complicated using what we had to kind of get creative to make it work. But like I said before, there's lots of plans to build ledges online and if you go to Home Depot to buy wood to build one of these and you've got it all planned out ahead of time, it's probably gonna take you a lot less time and your end product is gonna be a lot better. But again, at the end of the day, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be skatable and help you to improve your skating and just have a good time because that's what it's all about. Like I said before, this ledge was out of commission for a while, so I'm super stoked to have it back to be able to learn ledge tricks. It's something that I've really never taken time to learn how to do. So I'm really stoked to have this back and I'm gonna try and learn a new trick today. I've got a few tricks bouncing around in my head. I think either a front nose grind or a back crook. I'm gonna play around with both of them, see which one feels more comfortable, and see if we can lead the session with a new trick. timer for 15 minutes and told myself if I don't get it in 15 minutes I'm done that one was super sketchy I clipped really bad but I'm taking that for a first nose grind ever I'm gonna give myself just a few tries to clean it up if I let my back truck hit the ledge at all I'm calling it quits I'm super stoked to get a new trick. Some of you already know this, but I quit skating for a year or so, gained a bunch of weight, and since then really haven't been able to learn tricks. I've learned maybe one other trick. So learning a trick that I've never done before, even at the peak of my skating, that is super sick. I'm super hyped to be able to say that I finally got a new trick. Never done this in any way, shape, or form, and this is why it is so sick to be able to have your own ledge. So go build yours. If you like this video and you wanna see more, subscribe, like, comment. If you want to support me, you can check out the Friday shop. Remember, every day is a Friday, and I will catch you in the next video. Let's go. See ya.